another logo reveal, this time at Edinburgh University, as it merges with two other universities. Our Tom Kowalski captures the rebranding and what is now referred to as Penn West. At the recently renamed Penn West University, Edinburgh campus, they're still in the process of changing over the signs. But the official name change goes into effect today, July 1st. Alumni say it's a tough adjustment. Tim Hemis went to Edinburgh for his bachelor's and master's degree. I was, I was stunned, and I've talked to other alumni, and they're stunned as well, because we feel like it's a kind of a loss of identity as who we are. But on the other hand, I, I understand the restructuring to make the university revi you know, be viable for the future is important. President Pearson says it's a big change that will take some getting used to. I've heard everything from soup to nuts. I hate it to I love it. It's a great fresh start. Oh no, we don't want it changed at all. Can we still wear tartan? And so that's the big thing is making sure that we're still fighting Scots and we still can wear our informal colors, tartan, and our formal colors, red and white. Pearson says Edinburgh is no longer the school's sole identity. One reason that Pennsylvania Western goes first and not last is because when uh, students are searching for a university, they usually do it online, and that's what will pop up. If students would search for Edinburgh, they would, they would probably not get to it for a while. Other alumni are more optimistic about the name change. I know that some people you know, might feel that it might not be quite the same, the name, but the thing I've always noticed is that it's just a name. What really matters is the spirit of the university. As long as that's intact, honestly, I don't see a huge problem with it. From Penn West University, Edinburgh campus, I'm Tom Kowalski, Erie News Now. Tom, thanks. And the first classes at Penn West, they begin on August 22nd.